Okay, and so what you see in front of you is some cups, and with those cups, some of them have water in it and others don't. You also have the food coloring and you have paper napkins. Now, um, we are kind of spaced out, but I want you all, like, Anita, can you come up here and have a seat at this table and work this project with them? Because I don't have to use everything, okay? So just come on up to this table. You can uh, return back, but mostly we're just going to be playing with colors on today. Um, uh, you two ladies in the back, um, come on up. Arnisha, Jordan. And come on up and have a seat up here. Y'all can kind of like split up, y'all. Just maybe come on up to this table up in the front. We'll be fine. Um, so we can go in and we're going to do this here project. Uh, we're going to just be playing with colors. Uh, with the colors that we have today is our primary colors. We're still in hair coloring. We talked about some of the dynamics when it deals with the hair facts and also understanding the level system as well as identifying the natural tone of the hair. Then we're looking at things that pertains to the natural hair color and now we're gonna deal with color theory understanding the laws of color. And so, before we begin, I'm going to talk a little about it. <laughs> what you all are going to do is, there is um, food coloring. You're going to drop one, two, uh, two drops to three drops of color in one water, okay? So to go ahead on, y'all can move the bucket out the way. You can just sit it on that table to the side, not to clutter their table up. But put it over in your table, over to the side against the wall. And just only about two drops, no more than two to three drops. No, not in the same cup. They're going to go in each cup, one in each cup. So three of you all get one to each person, get to put one, your own drops in your own cup. How many drops? Only two. Don't squeeze too much. If you squirt, try not to squirt too much because you won't see the full effect on what we are working to do. Okay, now once you have done that, what I want you to do is take and fold a paper towel in half, and we need to fold it long ways. That means hold it up in a profile and uh, make that connected. Mm -hmm, you got it right, vertical, and just fold it in half. Then you're going to fold it again. Half of the bottle is going to go into hit that wrong or something. I'm looking at that and I said that's not gonna work. Okay. Um Okay. Um so what you're gonna do is just go ahead on and take and fold it into one side into the cup and one side into the empty cup. So um, I need one person to start from the corner. Whoever starts from the corner, just take it from one end to the next cup and then just fold it in half. You're gonna to have to scoop those cups together. They're gonna to have to be almost close, close, close together without spilling it. If it makes sense, so one person from the corners take and put the um, paper in, and then you're going to just kind of piggyback off of it. Don't let it drop it in there. It's going to go in the water and then put it in a cup that doesn't have anything in it. Kind of emerge it into the cup. So emerge it on in there. Okay? 
We have combined all these cups together. You're going to continue. One is going to go in the hold up. Hold up. One and put one in the yellow and put one into the empty. It's going to go all the way, trickle on through from yellow. Take from yellow and put it into this cup. And then go from blue, put it into that cup. Okay, so we supposed to put all of them? Yes. Okay, so this one going right here and then this one right. Back into the yellow. Yes, you got it. Okay, so um, push your cups in close together. And I should have uh, demonstrated. Hand me one of you all's napkins, please. Thank you. So we have to do each cup. So once from one cup. It's going to go into the yellow, and then it's going to emerge into the opposite cup. So you all will just let that sit. Can y'all fill in the other one for me? Great. And make sure that those napkins are really submerged into the color. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let it sit while we go through the lesson. Also, we're going to be doing a color wheel on today as well. So that means that we're going to do with paint um, and we'll just clean off the rest of this stuff here up so you all can do. Um, okay. All right. So we're going to deal with the law of color. And so when we're looking at color theory, which is in our lesson on today, we're understanding. We need our paper. We need our paper. Yeah, it'll be good. I mean, you really don't have to have that this present time if you don't want to. We're just going to deal with these colors and that's it. Okay, I'll get you one. Okay. Um, so when we're looking at color theory, these are some things that I want you all to take in consideration. The color, when we talk about the um, properties of the color of the objects and how they depend on the light and how it reflects, it is perceived as red, green, blue, and our other shades that we see um, as a dis descriptions and how our eyes perceive color, uh, which we're talking about red, yellow, blue, and other type of shades. Colors of light and how they reflect our objects and I use for an example here when we see the ventilation system, and if we look behind this ventilation system, there is a shadow, there is shade, versus where the light reflects on something or where there is shade. It's still the same color, but when the light touches it, it reflects and gives us a different illumination of what that color can look like. So when we're talking about visible and the spectrum of light, um, these are basic things that are, you all are going to talk about with y'all in chemistry. And when you all get into chemistry, it's going to get a little bit complex, but you're going to think back. Oh, we was talking about hair color. And hair color, when we were talking about the visible light from dark to light and how light reflects on things, whether if it's an additive or a subtractive color, then it'll help you to kind of, yeah, yeah, I could kind of connect with elect or mostly with electricity in certain parts. So therefore, before you attempt to apply hair color products, it is important to have general basic um, information and an understanding of the color theory. It is what we think about the base color. This base colors that we have are going to be um, considered the predominancy of the tone of color that is in whatever brand that you're using or whatever color that you desire to put on a client's head. So when we're looking at like the law of color, and the law of color says this, a systematic, and this is for understanding the color relations when combining colors, you will always get the same results from the same combination. So the law of color, when it says equal parts of red and blue will always make violet and 
Equal parts of blue and yellow will always make green. Equal parts of yellow and red will always make orange, as we refer to in our textbook, the color wheel. So when we're seeing the law of color and what the law of color is saying to us, we're looking at primary colors. Primary colors, who remember what primary colors were when you were in school? Ladies, the our popcorn real quick. Go ahead. Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, and yellow. And so these are the same colors that you all see right in front of you all. Now, I had to do this project maybe three or four times. I tried to like condense it um, and not use all the colors, all the colors, but we, we just working with we, what we have. But this will let you know that this will be a great project that you can experiment with when you're dealing with just your primary colors, dealing with food coloring. And you can take it, mix it in water, you can take it and um, create projects. Uh, one of my projects that I did as the color wheel, I had taken, I taken Crayolas, the crayons, and I got all the crayons, and I um, used a, what's the name, a blow dryer, and I just start splattering everywhere. But this was, it was, the paper is too small for the project that I wanted to do, because it needs to be spaced out a little bit more. So my colors started blending together, which I thought was an awesome thing, because I could almost see the color black crayon. Pretty much it looked really dark, got a lot of depth in it. And so when we're looking at some of the basic colors that come together, which are our yellow, blue, and red, which will make black, okay? And so therefore, when we're looking at with equal parts, and so therefore, when you're kind of mixing and blending colors, you will see what these colors would look like, and even also like if they come to contact with each other, you could almost see like a neutral kind of brownish type of color, if you all get a little bit more closer to this. So I did mine with Crayola, you all are gonna use paint, and I have um, paint brushes as well as um, paper plates, and you will be able, in little cups that you're gonna put the paint in, so you all can create your own color wheel, okay? Um, which is very fun to do. And um, if y'all wanna know how I did it, cause you probably could make yours look way better than that. Um, all I did was took uh, a glue gun and glued it to the paper, okay? Um, the crayons. So when we're looking at the primary colors, Primary colors are pure colors that cannot be achieved by any type of mixture. These three colors, which are blue, red, and yellow, and blue being the strongest and dominant of the primary colors, and it is the only cool color that exists in the primary colors. So it brings depth and darkness, just like we see the shade, same color, but the shade, depth and darkness. So blue will always give um, that darkness and also a lot of depth to that color. The predominancy of blue is a cool tone. And so we're gonna tone, deal with the tones, the tonalities, the intensity of color, which you will be able to connect with. So when we're looking at red, red is the medium primary color Red added to blue, guess what? It makes it appear lighter. And a lot of times, no, that's gonna make it look appear darker, you know, because it's red and blue. But if blue having a lot, the heaviest and the depthest and the darkest, but when you add red to it, it makes it lighter, okay? So when we're doing red and it, it appears lighter, and it's added to yellow now, yellow being more of a brighter color and the weakest of the primary colors. We are understanding that the red and the yellow added together, it becomes darker because of yellow. And it's added to the red and makes a secondary color. 
and also red is a warm tone. When we're looking at the yellow, which is the weakest of the primary colors, when added to other colors, the result of the color is lighter and brighter in appearance. So anytime that you want to go brighter and lighter in the appearance, you always want to use a yellow. So when you're having someone with a lot of depth, going on around a face and you want to make them appear brighter and lighter, having a lighter feel and a brightness to them, you will always place a yellow going around their frontal hairline. We're going to talk what color placement or placement that you use on the head and what they create. That's going to be outside of what's in your book. I'm just going to spill over to you all some of the uh, master color expert. So once you all become licensed, y'all decide that y'all want to become a master color expert, you're going to get a little taste of what's going to, what they're going to give you, okay? So when we're talking about black, when all three colors are present in equal portion, the results of that color will be black. So that's with all three of your primary colors. If I want to do a combination of color with a natural color, and I'm going to talk about this because a lot of times we say, oh, I don't have black to put on somebody's hair. Well, do I really need black? Maybe I got some red. Maybe I got some gold. Maybe I got some blue in my dispensary where all my color is. Shoot, I can make mix and mix and mix all three of them together to create my what? My black. Now, when we're talking about neutral browns of what our natural hair looks like, when it arrays from all levels, from one being the darkest and 10 being the lightest, when we're looking at the color system, we're saying that if I have three part yellow, to two part red, to one part blue. That's what's gonna give me a brown. So, Miss Shawnee, you saying I got a tube of yellow, I got a tube of red, and I got a tube of blue. And you telling me that I can go in and take and get uh, three fourths of that tube and have yellow, which is yellow. And then all I need to do is squeeze in a half of that red into that tube and only a fourth of that blue in that tube and whip it up. And you tell me I got a neutral brown, I'm going to say, yeah, you got a neutral brown. Okay? So all the time, if we understand colors, and this is what I want you all to have fun with while creating these colors, so you will know that, okay, whatever color that I have, I might have different portions of in my dispensary. So I know I could go and squeeze in this, squeeze in a little of that, and squeeze in a little of that, and whip that color on up. And now I created my own natural or whether if it's going to have a lot more depth in it or a lot of brightness in it or making it appear a little bit more um, lighter, then yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. As you all continue to investigate this color theory and looking into it. Now, as we see from this point, we're talking about secondary colors. Secondary colors are those that are going to be equal parts of primary colors mixed together. And this is what we're supposed to see in front of us. But I looked and I said, I need a red on the opposite side of blue. And I got a little like, hey, we need another blue. We need a red over here. But on the end of y'all blue, but we're not going to worry about it. Um, unless y'all want to grab another water. But I want this to kind of sit on here for th throughout the day and you will see how the, where the paper towel and how it's absorbing the water 
and that water is going to spill over into the empty cup from your paper towel. And so therefore, you're mixing from blue to yellow, and you're mixing from yellow to red, and it's going to spill over, and you'll start to see it dripping on out that paper towel, and you'll see the mixture of it. I thought it was dynamic. I synced it on YouTube and uh, Leisha Barnes at the CEA. She also had us to do it as well. So if you want to grab a cup, uh, 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 don't know where to go in that cup. Yeah. Just take it. Yeah, just yeah, so just take it and pour it back into that. You just get a cup and then in that water cup, you want to put red in there. All in here, right? Yeah, and then you need another paper towel so you can go in and place it in there so that blue and that red can connect and it'll create the secondary color of violet. Okay. All right, so with equal parts to make green, we know that, who know how to make green? Yellow and blue. Yellow and blue, you got it. Okay, who know how to make orange? Yellow and red. Yellow and red, and who know how to make violet? Red and blue. Red and blue. That's, those are the three secondary colors that we have and that are um, prevalent for our success. Let me go in here real quickly and I'm gonna escape out of here. And I just wanna put up here on display. And so this is gonna be repetitive cause quickly I'ma have you all to um, go in and recite and repeat after me as we talk about these colors. Okay, so you all see up here the primary colors, and what I want you all to do, we're going to look at yellow being at 12 o'clock, okay? So this is how we'll start, and the reason I have you all to do this is because I'm going to ask you all how to, um, the whole color wheel, without even taking a look at it, okay? So this is our another goal that we're in, another project that we're going to do. It's going to be more cognitive so approach, but that's what we're going to do. So yellow, blue, and red. That would be the format. So we have to fill in what's in between yellow and blue. So we know that yellow and blue creates a secondary color, which is what? Green. Green. And then if we follow through from blue to red, we're going to create what? Violet. And then we're going to create violet. Then from red to yellow, we're going to create what? So it'll sound a little like this. I'm just going to fill in from the primary colors and the secondary colors. So it will say red, green, blue, violet, red, orange, and back up to yellow. Okay? Okay. So can y'all say that with me? Yellow, green. Huh? What you talking about? Then you just have to fill them in. Oh, Do y'all okay. remember? Y'all yeah. remember what the first yeah. one looked like, yeah. right? Yeah. So I just said it in its entirety how I want you all to say it with the primary colors and secondary colors. And so if you need to look up here on the screen, I want you to look at them, but I want you to recite them out loud with me, okay? Uh, I'm going to say it one more time. Yellow, green, blue, violet, Red, orange, and back to yellow, okay? So say that, we're gonna say it three times. Ready and go. Yellow, yellow green, blue, violet, red, orange, and yellow. Okay, so let's say it again. Yellow, green, blue, violet, red, orange, yellow. Again, yellow, green, Blue, violet, red, orange, yellow. yellow. One more time. Yellow, green, blue, violet, red, orange, and yellow. Okay, so now that we've done the primary and the secondary colors, 
Now we have the tertiary colors. Everybody say tertiary colors. Tertiary colors. Okay, so it is what it is. So we see blue green, we see blue violet, we see red violet, we see yellow orange, we see yellow green. Can anybody tell me what do you see about the tertiary colors that makes sense? The diamond right. color is still first. What diamond? What is the diamond the color? The primary colors. The primary colors are first. Okay. Y'all with me? They missed one, but it's still. It's there. It's present. All over there. I'm talking on the side. And it's still like, and then it's still like the pattern. Like, how you got, like the yellow and green. So it's still yellow, green, blue, violet, red, orange. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is what I want you all to see. The color wheel in itself. Now, we got primary colors. Can y'all visualize the primary colors, right? Mm -hmm. Can you visualize the secondary colors? Yes. Now you're going to have to do this. Yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, red, red, violet, red, Red, orange. Did I mess up? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me start off. I said it two times. Okay, so it goes yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet. Oh, no, no, say it. Blue, violet, violet, red, violet, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, and back to yellow. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Oh. So therefore, you all are going to feel a little bit more confident to be able to stand up here and say that without even looking at that color wheel. So therefore, this is the challenging part. So now when we're looking at, now when we're looking at this color wheel, it's always good for you to understand the color wheel in the order that it goes because it's going to deal with a lot when we're talking about the, um, the dominancy. Are you, you know, she wasn't she wasn't having the right secondary colors. If she would have put that orange right there, she would have had two. I mean that red right there, she would have had two purples instead of all three of the secondary colors. Oh, so you just trying to, I was trying to help her out. The yellow. That's gonna be the flip yellow. You need the flip yellow. You still need the other yellow. Dang. You need the yellow. Another yellow. So oh, I don't think the secondary color is orange. Okay, why don't you put the other yellow? Green. Oh, 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 oh the other side of the red. Oh, yeah. Where that red is, that's where the yellow should be. You get it? I just got a lot. I don't know why you did that. I didn't understand yeah. why so you took it out. I, I'm just moving it over here. But I want mine to. Um, I don't yeah, because you see how it's hanging out? Yeah. You need to take that one because it's going to run on the floor. Oh. Oh, it's it's just, you should have left it alone and then just invert it. Yeah, just take that out. Oh. Just take that oh, one that out. You, that's why I said no. that you, I wouldn't have did that because that, yeah, you could have left that one in that, in that bowl. Oh, and then, yeah, and then yeah, she could have just put those in the right place. But it's okay. It's all good. Um, let's go ahead on and fill it in. And then it'll be clear cut. Yeah, you need a clear cut. You know, you need four years. Yeah. Oh, now you need the napkin for that. Get some off the table. So when we're working the whole color wheel and we're looking at 
yellow sitting up high, and I want you all to say them with me. We have yellow, and then we'll have yellow green to green, and I want you to pay attention. Primary in at what you say, and you can also look in your book on what page you're on. 677. 677. And just take a look at it and read and go along with it until you can familiarize yourself. And we're going to say it six times, and I'll do a countdown. And in that maybe second time of doing it, try to come away from it, start pulling away from it, and just go with it, okay? All right, let's start from yellow. Ready and go. Yellow, yellow green, green, blue green, blue, blue violet, violet, red violet, red, red orange, orange, yellow orange, yellow. Again, yellow, yellow green, green, blue green, blue, blue violet, violet, red violet, Orange, red, 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 orange. Orange. Oh, red, red, <laughs> orange, green, no, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Okay, let's do it again. Yellow, yellow, yellow green, 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 blue, green, blue, blue, blue violet, 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 red, violet, red, red, red orange, 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 yellow, orange, yellow. And yellow. Okay, again. Yellow, yellow, yellow green, green. Blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet, red, violet, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Okay, once again. Yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet, red, violet, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. One more time. Let's go. Yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet, red, violet, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. yellow. Back to yellow. Good. So this is the repetition thing. Sorry. This is repetitious. And when we're more repetitious about saying these colors, understanding the order and the systematic of our color wheel and knowing what colors are going to tones they are and also what complement each other. So this is dealing with the law of color. So therefore when we are looking at who's ready to try to do this without your book. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, Jordan. Okay. Yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet, red, violet, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Good snaps, awesome job, awesome. Okay, who's next? You want to go? Okay. Yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet, red, violet, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look at y'all blowing with this. I mean, I've had people like stand up here and be like, Lord, I don't know. Hold on. What's number one? But okay, y'all doing awesome. Y'all retain information awesomely. Come on. Next. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> okay. Yellow, yellow, green, 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 blue, green, um, blue, blue, violet, 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 red, um, or red, violet. Red, violet, um, red, um, red, orange, um, orange, orange, yellow, and yellow. Okay. <laughs> you, you, what, what, what was it that she said different? She was on the right track. She switched the what? Orange, right, yellow. The second yellow, orange. Was the first. Did I correct? Okay. okay. And, then, and then you said orange, yellow. 
So they're oh, yeah, yellow, yellow orange. Oh, so yeah, there, there you go. go. So you know why? Because I was thinking about what was next. Uh, like the, I'm like, okay, if that's next, they gotta be the first one. But like, but, okay. yeah. So next time, <laughs> when you just keep that in mind, primary before secondary, primary before secondary. That is awesome. Y'all on a good, good track. And see, this here is when you all, they're going to do, like, if y'all decide that y'all want to take some of these professional classes that are out here, they're going to give you a test over the phone. Okay? They want to see where you are and if you understand these. If I had to go through all of this, I said, hold on. I teach this subject all day long, and he was tricking me up. You know, I'm like, what are you saying? Because are you saying this or are you saying that? And so this will be one of the actual test questions they want to see if you know. If you could pass that test, then it would be a door for you to open and go in and be able to take that um, understand the color or whatever that those brands teaches, okay? So they do have like a test that you will have to take over the phone to see where you are in hair color. You know, what do you understand about hair color, okay? Be awesome though to take those courses, okay y'all? Snap, snap. All right, somebody else, let's go. Come on, India. So what was the last color that I just said? And you just got to remember, oh, green. So green, you know. So that's the hope in to gather that. I wish somebody would explain that to me when I was younger. But, oh, <laughs> I didn't grab it. I did not grab it. I was like, what? Okay. But anyway, <clears throat> someone else. colors and after the complimentary colors we're going to roll in and we're going to uh, hopefully take our break. Um, I know we probably passed our time. What time we got? 10.15. 10.15? Oh, we right on the point. Okay, so we'll be able to take our break and then after we come back from break, you all will have paper plates on your desk and then also I'll have um, paint. I got to shake that up while you all are on break. So, and then we'll go in and create a color wheel, play some music while you all are um, doing your color wheel. Um, like I said, I did mine with Crayolas. You all want to use paint. You could find any type, but all it needs to do is a whole circle because you've got to be able to have the colors that are across from each other, which are complementary colors. That's what yeah. takes us into. So when we're looking at complementary colors, these are the primary and secondary colors that are opposite. They are primary and secondary colors that are opposite of each other on the color wheel. So when I'm looking at red, it's an opposite 
cool tone secondary color from red is what? Green. It's green. Yes, it is. So when we're looking at complementary colors, these are what neutralizes color. So whenever you're looking at somebody that got blonde hair and you say, oh, let me just go and throw a black on there, it may turn their hair black, but eventually when that black starts fading off, it's going to look ashy and it's going to look green. And then when you put that black on that um, yellow hair, what happens to it is going to cause it to look flat. Like, who wants flat looking hair? I don't. I don't want my hair to look limp. I don't want it to look old. You know, I, I want it to you look youthful. You know, that's the point of hair color is to look youthful. So therefore, when we're talking about neutralizing the color, understanding complementary colors help makes hair color decisions to complete. When we're talking about accomplishing the desired goal, so when the hair is green, you want it to balance out and use red. When it is red, you want to use green to balance it out. When you use the primary color blue, which is the depth and darkness, you want to use orange as a warm secondary color. Do y'all get it? So a red, warm tone, red is warm, and green is cool. And it's a secondary color. Blue is cool, and it's a primary color. And orange is a warm secondary color. If I have a um, warm yellow, then I have a what? A cool violet, okay? So therefore, when you look at red violet, red violet is considered on the warm side, okay? Blue, uh, when you talk about yellow green, yellow green sits more on the cooler side, okay? So it's almost like when autumn comes and you start seeing the transitions of colors and things just move from uh, green to orange to, yeah, or to yellow to orange to red, you know, you just start seeing all these beautiful looking colors, brown, yeah. And it just started, and then it start crunchy. It's crunchy now. <laughs> we used to pull leaves together and just jump in them big old yeah. pool of leaves. Yeah. I remember being a child doing that. Mm -hmm. So when we're looking at our complementary colors, anytime that you see a warm tone and you want to get rid of warm, you're going to use what? Cool, cool tones. Okay. So that's when we have warm tones and we have cool tones. So warm tones are always going to cancel out cool tones, vice versa. Cool tones are going to have to cancel out warm tones. So therefore, if Miss Shana does not want to see this red in her hair, what color do you think she's going to put on there? Because I want um, a mocha latte, I want me, you know, do you all get what I'm saying when I'm talking about coffees and stuff? Like some coffees look all nice and caramelo and rich. And then you got some, now nah, give me some that's flat looking. And... Yeah, I get that. I want to do that. Uh, they said that they did the coffee, but I wanted to get the coffee and the creamers so we can mix the creamers so you can start to see it, uh, how it begins to decolorize, get lighter when you start mixing in. So a lot of times when we deal with clients that come into the salon, it's always good to just have like different type of hormones because our eyes see different. You got dark chocolates, you got hormone chocolates, you got all these different kinds of chocolates that's out here. So it's like a uh, 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 taffy, you know, all kind of stuff. So being able to have a display of chocolates or caramels and things like that in their presence and be like, okay, which one do you like? So she'll be like, oh, I like that one. Oh, I know exactly what formula to use to get that, okay? Because you done practice on 
how to formulate, but you need to get her to understand what you see, okay? So therefore, pulling different chocolates, pulling caramels out. This, now, what color do you like? You know, and, and it's been times I have to do that. And so, you know, like one client I worked with in my journey, she had um, brown hair. She's probably like a level four, and it was just dull. It was just, everything was just horrible about it. So she was like depressed and everything. Relationship went bad. You know, they come and tell you their whole life story and everything. And then they'll come to me and then they'll say, well, she said, this is what she said, because I'm putting her with a whole lot of other people too. Let me just focus on her. <laughs> but she said to me, she said, um, What's new? And I said, well, nothing. I kept saying nothing. I didn't understand what she was saying. She was saying, what's new like in our industry? What's coming out? What's the what what's in the flavor? What's the trend? You know, what can I do with my hair different? Because I'm going through these stages. So it was roughly around Valentine's Day. And she loved, she would always come in talking about strawberries and chocolate. Girl, I just walked, I worked at the Galleria, and she would walk past that store that had the berries, and she do that on purpose. And so, you know, because she can't eat them. And so she just came right on up, and she was like, girl, that strawberry with that chocolate on it look good. And so something hit my brain one day. I said, chocolate, strawberry fondue. That's what I said. Strawberry fondue, baby. Let's do it on you. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, she had chocolate and some uh, nice little red going on in her hair. And it looked so gorgeous. And she was so adorable. And I just added little layers in it with some real big pretty curl. And she was like, well, on her work. But she ended up with strawberry fun do that. <laughs> yeah, and I thought that that was awesome. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready for break. Um, color wheel. What colors did we talk about you all today? Primary, secondary, secondary and tertiary. Tertiary color. Complementary colors. So, yes. These are the colors that we talked about on today. We did a project and we'll hopefully be able to see the outcome as we begin to do our color wheel as well in understanding and formulating colors, okay? All right, so we're gonna go to break and I'll see you all back here at 11 o'clock, okay? I have a question. Yes. Okay.